I'm Kim Castro, your painting instructor. Today we're excited to start another brand new painting. So let's get started. Get your brushes out, your paint, your easel. And this is the one we're going to do today. So let's sit down, relax, and have fun doing it. Hello everyone. It's time for another painting lesson from uh, Kim Castro Art. Um, we're going to be painting a nice little picture here. It's a landscape, but still it's going to have a couple little kids in it. So let's get started, and I've already got the liquid white on already, so let's just check that. It's a bit, it's a bit drier than I really want, but let's see this. I'm going to grab just a tiny little bit of yellow with some white. I don't want it to be a bright white, I want it to be a light white. So I'm going to just put a little bit of that yellow in here, just a little bit, I'm going to bring it right down here. Let's spread out a little bit up here and we'll put some over here maybe we don't need a lot and maybe a little bit over here i'm going to be putting some blue in here so i'm a bit concerned about putting too much there too because that blue as we know will make it turn um green and we don't want it to be green so we're going to wash that brush real quick question blue very little i don't want a lot I want very little. I'm going to just tap it out. I don't want it to be real strong. And I'm going to just put it on very, very gently. I'm going to go right up across the top. Coming down into the sky just a little bit here. Right across the top. Like so. But I don't want it to be real strong. I'll get a little bit more here. Maybe just a tad bit stronger up at the very top of it not much but a little bit up in here you're probably going to see some of that there probably but we're going to put some there anyway and some here and we'll grab a little bit more just a little bit stronger over here just a little bit just so i want to be able to show a little bit of different areas of the sky. That's why I'm putting a little bit stronger here and there, but but in all it's kind of a lot lighter than it normally would be. So just a little bit darker there. I mainly want it darker on the top, very tops. And then we'll go with a little bit stronger coming down to the sides. And I'm actually tapping that because then you'll see there's a reason I'm doing this. I'm kind of tapping it in here a little bit. And as you can see, it's getting a little bit green, but I'm not going to worry too much about it right at the moment. But we're going to make that a little bit bluer. And you're going to see why when I get to that area. I'm going to push it over here. And this, the idea is it's going to be the background for some trees basically that's why I'm making it a lot darker so we're going to come right here Not like so let it break up some doesn't like hurt it at all and we're going to come all the way down with it and I'm going to take very gently I'm going to tap it in out right here just like there's some kind of like some foliage in the background right there you can't really see it but it's there I'm gonna kind of come up a little bit here and before I go any further I'm going to actually take and tap into a little bit of the crimson tiny bit of crimson I want to put a little bit of crimson in here too just a little bit just for the color, just a little bit of that color. Because when we blend it in, you'll see the difference. Just put a little bit of crimson in. And I think we're going to have a little bit over in here. A little bit of crimson. Not much. Maybe a little over here. Not like so. 
It's kind of just blending in with it. That's all it's really doing. Blending that crimson right in there with it. Try a little bit more. We didn't need much crimson in the whole picture. This is probably about all we're going to use of it. We may just mix them in with the background, but that's about it. Now we'll go back to the blue. You can leave the crimson right there on your brush. It won't hurt it a bit. And we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to tap in a little bit of to the background tree looking things here. And we'll just tap that in like that. Get a little bit closer over here. Because our pathway is going to be in here. So I want to make sure we're up close to it. And make sure we get enough room here to put that pathway. So now we can go ahead and we can tap some in here. This is the background that's going to help with that. And this is, this is pretty light here. And, and that's fine. We're going to just add just a little bit of that color in there. I won't hurt it a bit. And then we'll take a clean dry brush and we'll go ahead and we're going to start in the middle right here just kind of blend it out a little bit very gently just blend it out we are with the thought of not getting it in mixing them that yellow in with the blue we don't want that to happen a little bit of a brush thing there and just blend it out Blend out that middle first before you go any further. Now, this is the time you can take a little bit of white and poke in there and kind of brighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to put a little bit of white in there and blend that in. I want that to be a little bit lighter. And then we can go ahead and work our way out like so. Like that. Blend it out. Not like that. Now what we're going to do is set that aside. And we'll go ahead and make us a, a background mixture. We want some dark colors. We'll use some of the black, ivy black. Pull it aside. There's a bunch of it right there. A little bit of this blue about a third each, a little bit of the crimson, not much, and a little bit of the Van Dyke Brown. We'll just mix all that together. Really good. Not like so. And all we're going to do is we're going to add some dark areas in the background. So we'll just take our same one inch brush and we're going to start about right here. We're just right behind where the trees are going to be. We're going to go we up here like so, working our way down. And this is, we're coming down to about right here, so we'll just put a little bit right in here. Like so. We don't need a lot, we just need enough to darken it up a little bit to put our bushes and stuff in here. Just some darker areas, that's all we need. A little bit of dark. About like that over here we'll do the same thing over here just kind of come across and we can start right in this area right here and we're going to be adding some other little trees and stuff and whatever in here too but we'll hold on to that for a minute or two put a little bit of dark over here follow it down and we're going to come out here a little ways with that right there And we'll come over here, not too far out, we're going to come down about right here, about like so. And we'll just tap it out. And we can probably bring a little bit up in the top, right about up in here. We're going to have some green up here for the overhanging tree here a little bit. But we'll a little bit of darkness behind it. Doesn't have to be a lot, just some. But I do want this especially to be pretty dark down here at the base of where the trees are going to be in the bushes. 
It's going to be fairly dark in that area. Okay. About like so. And the rest of it's basically going to be about like that. You can just give it a little tug if you want to, but we don't want to. We don't want to mess up this middle part, though. We're going to leave that alone, basically. We don't want much in there. But it's going to be about right there. Maybe a little bit darker over here. So we're starting to shape up what we want to be here. Um, we got trees, we got bushes, and all that good stuff right there. Okay, so I've washed my brushes real quick, and I'm going to take a little bit more Prussian blue. And I do want it a little bit darker, mostly because what I want to do is I want to just tap in some basic ideas of where some trees will be and some bushes, basically. And we're going to come right across, just tap them in. You want them to look a little bit raggedy, like there's some trees, but they're far out, farther in the background. But that's all that it's going to be. You're just going to tap them in, just about like so. Nothing fancy. This is some uh, a little bit darker in here, maybe. It looks like there's some background trees, kind of, in that area there. Not much, I don't think so. And then we'll do the same thing over here, just a little bit of a hint some of that blue about like that going come all the way down in here like so I think it was just like that okay that's all we really need so I'm gonna leave that brush alone and I'm gonna take a uh, a nice script liner brush we'll get some thinner we'll go in the same Prussian blue and get it thinned out really good And what we're going to do is, I want to put a few, just a few of these bluer tree trunks in the back. And they can be pretty light, really. They don't have to be dark. But we're just going to put a few hints of, of some trees in the back. That's all we're doing. Just a little bit of, a few branches on them and whatnot. And not like so. Just a few here and there. Just like that. Just giving the indication of some little long trees here and there. And let the paint run out of it a little bit. You want it to be some little light ones in there, here and there, too. Any way you want them. Like so. Maybe one up in here. About like that. And we'll, some a lot of those will get covered up, so they don't really matter. Just you're just going to see little pieces of it here and there, and that's all that matters. And you can do really the same with wash your brush off a little bit there, and go ahead and grab a little bit of crimson, just a little bit of that crimson. And you can do the same with the crimson. You can just take and make some tiny little bit of trees with a little bit of a crimson here and there, like so. Nothing real fancy. Just a little bit, just a hint of it. Hint of a tree here and there. Just like so. Okay, and wash that off. And if you don't like those, you can always tap them right back out if you don't like it. That's just the way I'm going to do it right at the moment. But you can still take your brush. If that seems to be a bit much, you can kind of just tap it out a little bit more, like this. Just tap it out. Go right over the top of it a little bit. So they're not quite so big or whatever, if you don't want them to be so big. And I don't want them too awful big or bright. I want them to be hidden a little bit here. So I'm just tapping a little bit here. That's all I'm doing. Tapping a little bit above them. Just like that. Okay. And that kind of takes them out and fades them back a little bit more. That's all we want to do is to fade them back some more. Okay. So we'll wash the brushes again. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a little bit of this. Uh, we're going to use a sap green. And I'm going to take a little bit of this 
background color. I'm just going to take a little bit and put it aside here. And I'm going to add some sap green into it. So I just want to darken it up just a little bit. So it'll still look green, but it's going to be a bit of a darker green. So we'll just darken it a little bit. And that's some of the, we're going to add that to the background black. But uh, uh, actually, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of white to it. And you'll see why. You know, when you mix it up, you it won't look the same as the sap green, but it'll still be darker. It'll still have a little bit of that white in there, but mix, mix it pretty good, pretty thoroughly. Okay, so then I'm going to just take my regular one-inch brush. I'm going to tap that in. And then I'm going to take, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap some of that color in, that green. I'm going to tap it in here. But so as you can see, it's darker. But it's still green. And that's what we want. I'm going to come down here, not like so. I'm going to follow this, that darker color. Get some more paint. I'm going to kind of follow it down. Not like so. And we'll give a little bit more here. And we'll just kind of tap it down. Let it wear out. Let it go into that darker color. We want it to do that. And then we'll get some more here. And this is where we're going to make some some of our bushes in here. So, But we're going to just tap these bushes in. About like so. You don't want them to be all same level. Make them a different level. And we're going to just tap them in like so. Just like that. like that and we'll leave them about like that we want it to be dark over here and that's fine so we'll go ahead and we'll do the same thing over here and this time we're going to come about halfway almost halfway I'm going to start with that darker color here so we're going to be coming over that with some highlights pretty soon and we're going to just darken this up but we still want it to be green that's all. We can leave some of the black in there. It won't hurt it at all. We want some of that darkness to show through. So you can skip some areas if you want to. You just want it to be darker. But we want it to be green. That's all. We just want it to be green. All the way down. Maybe we'll have some some out a little bit here, about like so, about like that. Okay, we can go ahead now. We can actually add a little bit. But I think we're probably going to be using mostly a um, fan brush when we do this here. You could tap a little bit in there, but I'm not I'm not going to bother with that right now. We'll do that with the fan brush. So I kind of wanted to get some darker areas in there, but we'll do that with the fan brush. So. <coughs> What we'll do is we're going to use a, another brush or wash your brush. I'm going to just use another brush so we can do a little bit faster. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a clean brush and we're going to use that bright red. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> bright green, <laughs> not red. And we're going to take some of this bright green and we'll just tap it on our brush. Get it nice and thick. And it's going to be kind of loose, but. Um, We'll hold off right for that moment. We're going to put some tree trunks in first. We've got to have them tree trunks. So I'm going to use this oval type brush for the tree trunks. And we'll start that with the mountain mixture. <clears throat> and I may have to thin mine a little bit. You might need to thin a little bit, but my paint's been sitting for a day or two, so that's why I'm doing mine. So I'm going to take this one that's going to come to about right here. So we're just going to go, we'll just draw the line where it's going to go. And we're going to stop right about there. So we'll have to do it again. About like so. Turn the brush over. Now you could use a knife if you wanted to too. That's fine too. But we'll just do it with this one. Use a little bit of control. And my paint's still not thin enough, so I'm going to thin it some more. I want it to be thinner. It doesn't really need to be too dark. We're going to go over that with some highlights anyway. 
but then we're going to have another tree and it's going to come all the way down probably into here so do we need anything behind that yes we actually do so you can take that brush that you had with the bright green and I'm actually going to add a little bit of sap green to it so I'm just going to pull a bit of sap green in with that bright green so I still want it to be brighter but I still want to actually add I'm going to use the side of the brush the very side I want to actually add some bushes in here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of push them in like so just going to add them bushes right there and we'll highlight those again most likely but that's going to be a little bit lighter green that's what I want lighter green okay and I think we're going to be okay with everything except one over here that's a little bit of a bush like well that's part of the tree really but it's a little bit lighter green over here that we want not like so okay and I don't think we're going to need any more than that except maybe one spot right in here maybe right in here we'll make some a little bit lighter right in this way but we're going to get that a little bit greener a little bit greener I just want to make a little bit greener in here where that tree is going to go not a lot just a little not like so okay now I'm going to just put that brush aside and we'll go ahead and we'll get these other trees put in and this one's going to come from maybe here and we're going to be coming down into here so we're going to be about right here you can put a mark there if you want to sometimes it helps so we're going to come over this way and we're going to kind of go down about like so this tree is going to be a little bit a little bit bigger around so keep that one in mind a little bit bigger around it's a pretty big old tree about like so about like that and we can stop right about there we can cut that off where we want to when we do the the grass and stuff we'll go ahead and get some more paint we'll clean that some more and we need to put a tree we got one tree that's going to be about from here down into here and it's not very thick it's just a small thin one about like so and then we're going to have another big one it's going to be coming down about right here and it comes all the way down into here about like so and this one's actually going to have some legs to it about like so bit of a leg and I'm not going to worry about too much of that we could put the grass down first and I may just do that which we'll just go right over it if we need to no big deal I'm just actually getting the trees where we want them to be so we want a nice big one right here and it also comes down into here right now we're just basically doing the placement for where they're going to be and this also going to have some big legs to it too about like so about like that and we want that one to be pretty dark pretty dark this one's going to be closer so we want to be able to see a bit more detail on this one without a doubt and this one too this one's a little bit bigger Let it wiggle around different dimensions or whatever trees will do that trees will do that about like so and we'll have a little leg off there too and probably one over that way okay so let's just uh, wash your brush and before we get too far here I want to go ahead and grab the liner brush again if I can find it and we're going to take that darker green 
that we've got. Add a little bit more darkness to it. And I want to go ahead and put a couple of, of trees right here that are a little bit darker. So we'll go like this. Put that same darker green. Get even a little darker than that even. Just a little bit darker. Just so you can see it real well. Maybe give it a couple. A couple of limbs on it maybe. About like so. Maybe one there. Maybe another one right away beside it. We'll go with the other one. Who cares? And maybe a couple little limbs here and there. Like so. And we'll go up that way a little bit more. And maybe a little bit higher up. Okay, and if you want to put any more trees in there, you can. You don't need to, but you can. And it's probably a good idea to put a, a couple of a couple of them over here. Not like so. Maybe one there. And maybe we'll put another one over here. Can't see much of it, but it's there. We know it's there. A couple of little limbs. Just some darker ones because they're closer up. The bushes kind of hide it anyway, so it doesn't matter. And you could put other ones there, but you're probably going to be painting over those anyway, so that really won't make much difference. So, let's go ahead and um, I think before we go too far, let me go ahead and clean some brushes real quick. Okay, I want to uh, fix a couple of things real quick. Or not fix things. I want to prepare a couple of areas real quick first. What I want to do is I want to get an idea of the lay of this land right here. So I kind of want to just take my fan brush. I'm just going to put some darker areas in here. By just moving this a little bit here and there. And get an idea where I want the land to be. Because we'll, we'll fix all that when we get to it. I'm going to come across here. Because this is about where it's going to start. Right in this area right here. And I want to come all the way up into here. Like so. And even if you, even if you have to go through the tree here, it really doesn't matter. We can fix that in a minute. So I want to get some areas here that are going to be darker. And the way I'm going to do that is I'll just pull some of this darkness out. Because we're going to be coming down into here a little bit. And I'm very gently just going across. I'm grabbing a little bit of the pink. And just kind of pulling it across in some different areas here. And you'll see why when we get to that part. And I want to make sure this is dark down here. And I might even have to add some paint to that. But I want to go ahead and make sure that's going to be darker. And we're going to be coming over. We want that darkness to show the grassy areas a little bit better. So I'm going to grab some of that darker mixture we had. And I'm going to darken it up just a little bit more here. Just a little. I don't need a lot. Just a little bit. I want to darken, get some darker areas. So we can show some of the lay of the land, so to speak. Where the grass is going to be. Where it'll break it up, break up that area of where the grass is. So we want a little bit of a darkness in there here and there and this is a dark area up here so we definitely want that to be darker About like so right down into there maybe coming down up this way a little bit so we want that to be darker right in there we'll grab a little bit we're going to do the same over here i want some darker areas over here i know that the the land's going to be coming down in here so we want that to to do that, basically. But we, I'm not going all the way across with it on purpose because that's going to be actually light in color. But we will we'll go ahead and we'll do this. We'll fix these trees in just a minute. But I want to bring out some of them colors, drag them across a little bit. We can go ahead and we'll get some of this land 
done before we finish the trees on purpose. We'll go ahead and we'll get this colored down here a bit. We're going to be adding some light stuff in here. I don't want it to be too dark up in that area right there. It's going to be coming across. Not like so. We'll have some green in there. Then I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go back into that more polluted, that darker green we had. A lot darker. I'm going to Grab some of that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start putting in some of the land. Just a little bit of it. I'm gonna just put some of that darker green in. So when I put the highlights in, it'll make them really shine. So I'm gonna put some of that darker in here. Like so. Right up into here. And you'll see where we're going with this as we go along. Maybe we'll have some coming down into here. This is a forest, so that's about what we want it to look like, the forest. Make this darker. Like so. Actually, I got some light in there. I don't know how that happened. I got some white in it as far. That makes that a little bit better. Darker. About like that. And we want some darker in this area here. Maybe a little bit here. Not a lot, just a little bit. We're going to have a lot of highlights in there, so we just want that darker green in there first. We'll just work it out. We've got, we'll see some of it. We want to see some of that blue. We do want to see it, so don't worry about covering all that blue up. We want to see it. Not like so. Some in the corner here. Like that. I'm kind of tapping it out as much as I can. like that so we still have that grassy look to it and some more and we'll do the same thing over here we have the highlights coming on and on top of that one and we don't want to be too thick here because our little kids are going to be right in this area so we want to be real mindful of that but we do want some darker colors in here so we can see the, the lighter colors. We want this to be darker up in this area. And I did put some little tiny little trees in this area here that were lighter. I just add a little bit of white to it. That's all I did. Darker, darker. We're not darker. This whole, whole area is pretty dark. Right up to where that tree is going to be. It's a lot darker. I might even have to make it even darker yet. But we'll try and see. And we've got some dark coming out there. Not much. We'll work it out. Darken this in here. And maybe some in here. And definitely across the whole bottom. And we'll tap some of that out as we go. Like so. Just tap it out gently. You don't have to push real hard, just tap it out. Like so. Like that. Come right across the bottom of it. Tap it right in there. And we'll probably have some in here too. And what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of just drag some of this out a little bit. 
we'll add some more to this pretty soon eventually but I'm going to just kind of pull that out like so very gently very carefully not much of it get rid of some of the paint and I want it to kill all that darker color this is going to be the path so we're working on the path a little bit here we're just trying to keep that path in mind of where it's going to be and how it's going to work so we're going to have it about right there and it's going to be coming up to about where that tree is so I want that to be more and it's going to be a lot lighter coming over this way too about like so right down into there okay and you can wash your brush off because we want to use a clean brush we don't want it to be all dark anymore so just dry it off best you can I'm going to use a rag to dry it some if you want it a little bit wet anyway I'm going to actually do it, get a little bit thinner and I'm going to put it right in this bright green and then we're going to use it for the highlight and then we're going to go ahead and do that right now we're going to just We'll just tap some in, about along like that. And because it's going to be behind that tree, that's why I want to put it in right now. We're going to just tap some in, about up like this, right up into here. Just that tap, just that one little highlight right there. We'll just tap it out a little bit, very gently. And then we'll come down here and we'll give it some more highlight in here. All the way up into here, maybe. Just tap it out a little bit. And we'll have just some little spots here and there. Just tap them out. It don't have to be nothing, nothing real fancy. Just tapping out some highlights is all we're doing. The trees are going to be covering that. We'll add some more around that tree when we get there. And we got some here. Get some more paint. Some in here. I'll try to bring it down some more this way. So we can bury the colors a little bit. Tap some out into here. Like that. Yeah, maybe down a little bit here. We want to leave some of them bluer colors in there. That's fine. Some more paint. We can do the same thing over here. This one's. We want this one to be nice and bright. So we want to make sure there's plenty of paint on that one. So we're going to make this one pretty bright. Tap it in really good. Right down into it. About right there. Right, right there. Nice and bright. We have to hit it a couple of times. We'll brighten that up some right there. Then we'll just tap it out. Just so we got that area right there. And then we can just tap a little bit here and there. Add some more color here and there. Maybe we'll put some out on this one here. Little highlights right there. And maybe some down in here. Out like that. Okay. And that's really all we really need right in that area right there. So let's look up at this I'm going by another picture here I want to make sure that we're not missing anything and I'm not seeing anything that we're missing right yet so I do see we should have a little bit of highlight up in here for the some of these bushes that are in here so we, we can hit a few of those very gently and you're going to get some of that black paint in there that's not good you got to be careful about that we probably could have used the other brush for this probably would have been better I want to just put a few spots in here in the background about like so 
and we're going to add some more to that so I'm not going to worry too much about it I just want to get some that's behind the tree that's all you know just a little bit behind it not a lot but there is a little bit behind it And we're going to just leave it about, we're going to just kind of look at where we're going to be with it. I'm not going to put much there yet. So, I think we're about there. Maybe a little bit in here. And I think that's probably going to do it right there. I want to actually highlight this bush a little bit. And you can do that very gently by just touching it. A little bit of highlight on that bush. Just work it down. Lighten it up a little bit. And we can probably do the same with this one right here. Just tap it in there very gently. Give it a little bit of the highlight. So it's behind that tree, and we're going to be going over it. So we want to make sure we got a little bit of highlight in there. It's not going to take a lot, just a little. And this basically is about where it is there. Tap some of that out, it's a little bit too dark. Okay, now let me wash some more brushes. Okay, right at the moment I'm just adding a little bit of blue in for the shadowy areas, a little bit of, just a little bit of the blue here and there. As you can see, I've added a little bit of shadow up in here. Some of these darker areas, I wanted to put them in a little bit of shadow. I'm just grabbing a little bit of blue on the round brush here. I'm just adding it in where I want some darker shadows to be and I'm kind of just just kind of moving it out that's all I'm doing blending it in with that little bit of green we got in there and I want these shadows to be real evident especially when we get down into here up closer to where we are and right up into here Now add to the reflections from the sky is what we're looking for here. We're getting some reflections from the sky. And this is more, you know, we're getting to a little bit of a traditional painting style here more, which is fine, which, which is great learning to on the bottom here. Add some on the bottom. I want to darken it up on the bottom here some. Just a little bit. About like so. Just like that. Nice and dark. And we'll add some, we'll fix that here in a little bit here. I want to make this tree trunk. I did darken these trees a little bit. And I'm just going to pull that out so the tree trunk can kind of pull out a little bit. Same with right here. Kind of cut it off a little bit. This one here we'll grab from up in here. Pull it out. Let it kind of move down into the grass. And same bit over here. We'll just let it pull down some. About like so. Give it that more realistic. We'll add some grass to that later. So now we can clean your brush. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some highlights on these trees before we go any further. And what we'll do is we'll take our knife. And I've mixed up some, a little bit of some white, mostly white, a little bit of Van Dyke brown, and a tiny little bit of green. And that's what we're going to start out with. And we're just going to very gently, we're going to be using a mixture of colors. So we're going to use just a little bit of color, a very little bit, just kind of dab it in there, all the way down, like so. A little bit doesn't have to go all the way down on this one just kind of pull it down like so like that just a little bit more here and we'll be adding some leaves over the top of those so that's going to help too and we'll do the same with this one just gently just just barely touch it barely touch it just pull it down let it, let it break apart let it break you want it to break let it break apart gently 
it's not breaking then you got work the knife off and get you another roll so you can even pull it to the side if you want to or you can pull it straight down but you want it to break very gently pull it on down you may have to move your hand a little bit here at different angles you want to try to get some down in here about like so about like that pull your paint out some more then we'll come over to this side and we'll do the same thing and I like to try to bring it to the side that I want to have the light, most of the light coming from. So that would be this side here, very gently. Pull it down, let it pull out. You want it to have that rough texture look as much as possible. Trying to just very gently. You don't want the whole tree to be that same color. Not like so. Go from the other side a little bit. And this back one up here, we want just a little bit of highlight on this one. It don't take much, just a little bit. And this one here. You may have to just move your knife from up or down or whatever it takes. See, it's a little better if you let it break apart. So, just give it a little touch, and you can take a little off if you need to. No problem with that. And with like even with the back one here, when you want it a little darker, I can just touch it again. And just do, just dim it down a little bit. Don't want to do that. Take the knife off, and then I take this lighter. I got some just some green, a little bit of green with white just a tiny little bit and I can put just a little bit of that in there if I want to too just a tiny little bit here and there here's some different colors makes it look prettier looks more realistic just a little bit of that green here and there not everywhere just wherever Touch it here and there. Like that. Same on the other side. A little bit here and there. A little bit of that green in there. Like so. Sometimes you wipe your knife off, it helps. Get another fresh roll. Like that. Get a little bit of green in there. Like that. It's probably won't need much over there. A 
a little bit. Then I'm going to take my knife, wipe it off. I'm going to take a little bit of blue. Just a little tiny bit of blue. Grab me some white. One whole lot. Take some. Just a little bit of blue and white. Wipe my knife off first. I want to get my sure it's a little dark on there. Just my little bit of this light, light, light blue. I'm going to just take a little bit and I'm going to just tiny, put a little tiny bit. Just a little bit of that blue. Right up the top of that tree. Right up that tree. About like so. And it's amazing what that little bit of blue will do. Give it a really nice look. Like that little bit of shading is what it really is. A little bit of blue here and there. I don't need much, just a dab. Tiny little bit. If you get too much, you can always take it out. Cover it up with the other color if you want to. I clean the knife off. And I'm just going to tap over it like that. And I can get rid of some of that I don't want. I don't want it to be quite that light. I can do that. Just pull it right off. I'll go over it with the other color. However I want to. No problem. Wipe my knife off. Like that. Okay. Over here, I think I wanted to cover that a little bit. A little bit, I don't know, a little bit more blue than I really wanted in there, but you can cover it up. Just go ahead and grab your green or whatever you want to do. The light green, cover it right up like that. No big deal. Yeah. Okay. Now I want a little bit of dark right here. Just to emphasize that tree a little bit. Now you may not need to. I just need to do it here. I noticed this wasn't dark enough. I want it to be a little bit darker. And that's all I had to do. So now what we can do is grab our fan brush again. Now we can fix the, the grassy areas and whatnot. And first go ahead and just Tap on the bottom a little bit right there. Get rid of that loose paint a little bit. Just a little. And go ahead and grab your sap green. Mix in with a little bit of this bright green. And go ahead and put a little bit of thinner in it. You want it to be a little bit thinner so it'll stick better. And then you can go ahead and over that a little bit. Let's go over that area a little bit. Clean them up a little bit, so to speak. Right up to your tree, whatever. Very carefully. Try to make that a little bit brighter. Up in this area, right up to my tree. Not like so. And then you can fix any other areas you want to fix at the same time. Make it a little bit brighter. You don't want to have too many looking lines there, you want to tap them out some. Make it look more natural. I'll bring this out some more. I'll bring this out some more here. This one will bring out quite a bit. Like 
so. Like that. Like so. Get a little bit of paint from that chunk in there. Just go right over top of it. Like so. Okay, and we're just getting there where we can get going on this and get it done. So go ahead and finish up with anything you got to add into the grassy areas here. Move to the other side, do the same thing. A little bit brighter here. Move a little bit thinner on that. Go ahead and tap some more in here. Maybe up in here. Like that. Down into the pathway here. We'll come from here. Like that. Keeping them dark areas in, which is great. Okay, now you can just clean your brush. And we'll start with the path. We're just about there. So hang with me, people. Hang with me. I know these lessons can be a bit long. And I really, really appreciate the people that really take the time to watch the whole thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this... This is, I believe, is a number two fan brush. I'm going to go ahead and just very gently, I'm going to just touch it with just the middle of the brush because I want to try to get an idea where we're going to put everything. I'm going to kind of lighten everything up a little bit right there. And we're going to let some of that paint mix in with it. It won't hurt it a bit. Just be careful where you're going with it. Keep your lines going horizontal. And then we're going to add some colors into it. And I'm actually kind of removing paint a little bit here in some of these areas. Just a little bit. So now I'm going to take, I'm actually going to take a little bit of uh, this green that we mixed in with the white. And I'm actually going to start to come in from here. Not like this. And then I'm going to put some paint in there. I lowered it up pretty well. Lowered it up pretty good. And just kind of push it in. Push it in like so. Like that. So we can get some actual paint in there now. And you can skip some spots. Just we just want some spots of it here and there to lighten up some of the areas. That's all we're doing, is lighten up some of the areas. And then we can add other colors if we want to, like a little bit of Van Dyke brown. We'll take a little bit of Van Dyke brown and we can mix it in with this light green or whatever. We just put a little bit of brown in there. Mix it in. Not gonna need very much of it, so we can just and a little bit of the brown spots here and there. In nature, you got brown, you got the dirt and everything. And you want to put a little bit of brown in there for the dirt. So we want to make realistic colors. We'll add a little bit of brown. That's what we'll do. A little bit of brown in here. And just using the same brush, and we'll actually grab a little bit of yellow. Just a little bit. So add a little bit of yellow in there, a little bit of sunlight coming down from the reflection from the top up here. Just a little bit. Like so. Maybe a little bit more in here. I'm gonna make that tiny bit yellower spot right in here. Not too yellow, but a little bit. We can just work it out. Like so. Wash my brush.
and I want to get it good and dry. So I'm actually going to use a rag with a paper towel. And I'm going to take a little bit more of this green. And I'm actually going to get a little bit darker green this time. Just a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. So I want to add some of the green spots back in, if I can. Just a little bit here and there. Just a little bit. And I'll dim that uh, yellow a little bit, probably. Get some more green. Just kind of splotching it in a little bit here and there. Got a little bad spot there. And you can even add a little bit of blue back in a little bit if you need to. Here and there. You want this to be a little bit darker in this area here anyway. In some of these areas you want darker for the shadows. You definitely got shadows up in here. So we definitely want that blue up in this shadowy area. This is where the kids are going to be. Not like so. But you don't want to kill all the light areas either. Okay, if you need to one more time, you can always come back and add some more grass if you need to and whatnot. And we may just do that one more time. Add a little bit more grass. We'll clean that up a little bit. Make sure it's still wet. Add some more grass here and there. Just to clean it up from where we tap too much. Like so. Just a little bit. So, after all, this is a path, so we want it to look like a path. There's grass growing in paths and all that stuff. Wash your brush one more time. And I think I need just a little bit more of that brighter green right in here. Because I need something for the kids to walk on. About there. Clean that up by washing the brush and drying it. And there's one last thing I want to do, and that's just I'm going to put a little bit of white. I'm going to put a little bit of white right here. Very gently. I just kind of go one direction with it. And just add a little bit more white in. Just in different spots. Just in little different areas. Not much, just a little bit. A little bit right there. Like that. Okay. And we still got to do the trees. We haven't done that yet. So let's go ahead and we'll grab some more of this bright, bright green. And we'll go ahead and we'll get the leaves on the trees. We'll put some right here. Make sure you add some thinner to it. Because we don't want to get enough thinner. And I need some more bright green paint. But we can just use sap green and add some white to it. And that'll work just as well. Maybe we can use some different colors in here. Like so. I want that to be green as well. So I'm going to get some bright green. 
again, it's not as green as I want it to be. Get that brighter green. It's really important to get that bright green. And make sure you put some thinner in it. Because we're definitely going to need some thinner in there. Definitely need thinner in it. could actually use the one inch brush too if you really wanted to, but you should buy. So we'll use some thinner in there. Get some of these trees. Some leaves on the trees. Like so. Just using the angle of the brush. Kind of tap them out here and there. So, like that, some more thinner, okay, and we we'll have a little bit down here, come across this way, and we'll start here. So, and we'll come down here maybe, a little bit of an angle there, get a little bit of a blotch here, just work it out, it'll be fine, okay, and we'll come right over to the top of the branches here. bushy ones right in there. Like so. Okay. I think we're just about there. Maybe we'll have this one come down a little bit more in here. About like so. There. We don't want to overwork it. We'll go ahead and we'll take and add some yellow to the green. Make sure it's nice and thin. Make sure it's nice and thin. Tap it out. And we'll just add a few highlights here and there with it. A little bit of a yellowish color. Not much, just a little bit here and there. Doesn't take much. It's very little. Just a little bit of highlight. little bit. Like so. And you can even do that with the grass. You can put a little bit of that highlight color right down right across the top of the grass. Just like that. A couple of little areas there. Maybe we'll go highlight it all the way down here. Like so. Maybe some in here. That. A little too much there. We'll work it out. Like that. Grab some more for the other side. I definitely want this to be a highlight. Gotta be very careful with that one. Like so. Work it out. Maybe a little bit in here. Like 
that. Just kind of work that down. And maybe some out in here. Like that. There we go. That simple. Okay, now. Now we'll go ahead and we'll get ready to do the little boy and the girl. Okay, don't forget to highlight the tree branches like I did. Just That's just white with the light green that we used earlier. And uh, go ahead and highlight your tree branches. So next we're going to do the final part and that's the little children. And what we're going to use first is the darker mixture. Or actually you could even use the black. We're going to do the hair first. For both of them and so we're going to start with the little girl and her head's actually going to be about right here so we'll just start with the head and we'll just put a little dot basically that's all we're going to use right now and i think we'll, we will we'll use is black we will use the black because we want it to stand out more so we use black for the little girl's head all you need is basically the dot Okay, so far. And we'll add more to that, but right now we're just going to do the dot at the moment. It's kind of going to come down about like so. Now the boy is actually a little bit shorter, so we're going to we're going to just put his a little bit lower. Same thing, we'll make a, a nice black dot. Let me go ahead and actually use black because I was actually using blue. I had blue on that spot of the, that part right there. So we'll use black there. And they both kind of come down to a flat, a flat area. Rounded at the top, flat at the bottom. Horizontal. So we'll do that first. And then we're going to grab some, a little bit, a tiny bit of white. And we're going to add it to some red. And make a little bit of an off red, a little pinky color like or something like that. Not totally pink, just red, but not solid red. And all we're going to do is, we're going to just make, uh, right here, we'll have our shoulders come out. Basically it's a square, almost. Round it at the top a little bit. And you don't want any thinner in there. You're going to need to use pure paint. No thinner. So we'll have her come down about right here. Maybe a little bit more. About like that. And we want to make sure her arms, you can tell her she's got arms. A little bit more on that side, maybe. About like that. Now, if you want to, you can clean your brush and actually get just some pure red for some highlights a little bit. So you could put a little bit more red in the middle of it or something like that. About like that. Okay. And we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and bring the boy down some first. Actually, we just finished the girl for us. So just grab some white. She's going to have a white dress. So we're going to just take... And the dress is kind of flipping around, basically. So we'll just put the right there like that. And we kind of have to, have to remove some of the paint here for this to work properly. So we're going to remove some of that paint, I guess. Let's just take and uh, you can take the end of your knife and just scrape it right there. Scrape it a little bit, very carefully. Scrape a little paint off. Make, make it a little bit easier, hopefully. And in fact, we could really use another brush for that. We could use a flat brush. If you got a small flat brush, that would probably work better. So we'll use a flat small brush. Load it good with paint, white paint, and really all you really need to do is just 
grab it, pull it down. And you may have to go real easy. You can see it's actually mixing with the green and we really don't want that to happen. So this is going to be a bit of a problem. So we've got some paint there so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to just I clean my brush off. I'm using a thinner to kind of help get some of that green out. I'm going to dry the brush. Wipe the brush off and just get it dry. And then I'm going to try to just dab it up a little bit. Wipe it off some more. And I know this is a bit of a process, but it works. It will help you get rid of some of the other paint. And that's what you want to do. Get rid of the other paint. So get rid of the other paint. And just get pure white. And you can just go ahead and put that, try to put it in very gently. Just like that. Okay, and her dress kind of comes down at an angle, about like so. And we can touch that up with a smaller brush, no problem. So what we'll do is we'll clean that brush, so it aside, grab the small brush again, grab some more white paint. And the first thing I want to do is she's got a little bit of a white on top of her head. I'm going to put that little dot right there, like that. I need a Pretty good amount of paint, very carefully. Put that little bit of a dot right there on her head. About like so. Very carefully. And then we're going to use some more paint and make her dress kind of give it some motion, basically. And, and that means just we want to be able to flip it out a little bit. Very carefully. You may even go from out to in. But that that green is causing us a problem. So you gotta get some pretty thick paint to do that. So we want to make it look like it's flipping out like that. Yeah, and then you can go right over the top of your white like that. Give it more of a rounder look where she's walking. Get some more white paint to cover that. Like that. Okay, now what we'll do is we have to have one more little tiny dab of white paint. We don't want a little bit of a point. And we're going to put it right here, which is going to indicate the cuff of her shirt. And we had to pull some paint off first by the looks, like I just had to do. And just put a little, tiny little bit right there. You have to wipe your brush off. And you can clean it up a little bit like that. Just lift it up like that. That's all there is to it. Now we want some more black paint. And I actually add a little bit of thinner to it. And she has a pigtail. Not like that. Right down her head. Not like so. You can add a little bit bigger if you want to, and make that pigtail as long as you want. Okay, the little boy here. What we're going to use is that lighter green color with a little bit of yellow in it that we used earlier. And we're going to do his shirt first, and we'll do the same thing, basically. And I don't like that color because it matches the grass too much. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to take the paint off that I used by just dabbing it with a thinner. I'm going to go ahead and continue down and dab that paint off a little ways down, about to where a shirt would be, just to get rid of it. And even where his legs are going to be, I'm going to do that too. He's actually going to be standing right about there. So we'll go ahead and pull that off, which will help us in the long run. Just pull it off, get your brush dry, and take off some more. And it's nice if you see the canvas, it's even nicer. You see white below it, then you'll know you're getting 
down pretty good. Just keep wiping it off like that. Give us a little bit of a foundation for it. Let's go ahead and make this shirt more of a yellowish color. I want to see the yellow with a tiny little bit of green in it. A tiny, tiny bit. About like so. About like that. That should work. And we'll come down a little ways. And we'll have it so his arms are going to be sticking out too. And we just use that color there. That will work. And if you want to, you can actually add, wipe the brush off and just get some pure yellow. Just put a little bit of the highlight in it. That will brighten it up a little bit more with that yellow. About like that. And it kind of goes out there a little bit because we're going to have his arm with a cuff on it too. And it comes down a little bit there because it kind of goes over his pants. So, now we'll get some black. And the first thing we're going to do when we get our black here is I want to go ahead and put two little dots right there for her feet, just like that, so we won't forget. So we can see she's got shoes on. We don't want our kids being without shoes. And then we can go ahead and start putting some black pants on the boy, which means we'll just start putting some on. We'll just have to keep adding black until we get it. And since he's wearing black pants, we probably ain't got to worry too much about his shoes. And I'm just using, I'm not thinning the black here, I'm using it straight out. Just like that. Now he does have shoes, so we can actually just move it to the side a little bit like that, make it like the shoe there. Just like so. Okay. Now what we'll do is we need a, a really thinner brush. So maybe use your liner brush this time. And all we want to do is just get a lighter color. Even this little bit of a lighter, tiny little bit of this light green and white. And just down the middle like so. So you can see his pants have a look different. Go ahead and use the same brush that you've already got in your hand. Grab some more white. And we'll go ahead and we'll do his cuff also. Just a dot. And there you go. And if you get, like I did, you go out too far, just wet your brush, clean it off. And you can just come on the side of it and cut it off. Like so. There you go. <clears throat> now, our painting is now complete. You got a little boy with a little girl, a little sister, and walking along right there. I think I might actually add a tiny cuff on this side. Just a dot over there. Like that. Clean my brush off. I just cut it off inside here. Just an indication of the other arm. Like that. Okay, best part of the painting is coming right up. Time to sign it. And we're done. And we certainly appreciate you coming here. Please subscribe, like, and I sure hope you watch all of my videos and watch them all the way through. It sure does help the channel immensely so thank you for coming and we'll see you next time feel free to leave comments and uh, ask questions have a good night 
Surprise, I'm back for a second. Don't forget to put the shadow in. That's a little bit of a blue. That's all I had to do. Put a little bit of blue with a small brush. You need the shadow for the behind them when they're walking. And I'm going to go ahead and move this camera real quick so I can get you a good close-up of what we got for the final product here. Okay, here's a look at the final picture. Hopefully yours looks like this one. And, uh, of course, add more to it if you want to. That's the joy of painting, really, is being able to do what you want to with it. This is just an example of what you can do. You can add lots of things to that. More kids playing. You could actually add a little cabin to it or whatever you wanted to. So anyway, have a good day, and thanks for watching.